Hello and welcome to the Reach and Rescue video presentation. Throughout this length of film we will be covering the following. Why this method exists and is being adopted across the world. The equipment range. How it is being used in many different industries. Details of the equipment's features and benefits. How best to actually use in practice. How to service and maintain the products. Details on the lifetime guarantee given to all products opportunities to listen to our customers as they tell you about their experiences with our products. The products you're going to see have been evolving for the last five years. They were born out of the need to improve operator rescue safety, especially in and around water and ice. But not exclusively so. They're simple to understand, simple to use, so they can be used to rescue lives across a whole range of different situations and environments. So why do these products get used? Reaching a casualty with the correct tool to provide speed, accuracy and first attempt success. So what does the equipment comprise of? Firstly we have the telescopic poles. They provide the reach and control the rescue tool attachments from distances up to 17 metres from where the operator stands. The poles collapse down to manageable sizes for storage and transport, but when used, the multiple telescopic sections give fast extension and deployment to engage with the casualty or situation with confidence and accuracy. The pole is a manual tool held by the rescuer. Its job is to utilise the various pole end attachments and tools to work for the operator as desired. These tools comprise of hooks, flotation devices and many more methods which are continually being added to the arsenal of aids available. The poles collapse down to manageable sizes for storage and transport and this is the shortest pole, the 5 metre, and this is the largest 17 metre. It gives you an idea. So let's look at how it's used in some familiar industries. Probably the largest group of users is the fire and rescue services in the UK and across the world. It's often these guys that are responsible for water and ice rescues. There are also teams that work in conjunction with them that specialise in water rescue situations. The longest reach poles are often a favourite amongst this type of rescuer. First response workers like police and ambulance teams have also adopted the basic fast and simple tool devised which are used for quick straightforward procedures. Animal rescue is made a lot easier when distances can be controlled. These are very common worldwide. Ports, harbours and marinas find use for the reach and rescue systems. The simplicity of use gives the users confidence so response teams are now dramatically reduced. The marine and boating industry use the reach and rescue tools as man overboard systems and can be found on vessels of all sizes. Offshore renewable energy organisations now use and train with the reach and rescue poles from staff transport to moon pool management. We have customers in construction teams that need to improve health and safety conditions for the workers, especially around water. Working at height specialists also make use of the line control ability of the reach poles. Security and military personnel have frequently used our poles for search, inspection and rescue assistance in many different situations. So you can see the versatility of the systems and how people can benefit from the extra reach capabilities. So let's have a look at the details of the equipment. Firstly, the reach poles. We have four standard sizes of poles. Their extended lengths are 5 metres, 9 metres, 13 metres and also 17 metres. When collapsed or closed down, they vary from 1.5 to 3 metres. They comprise of multiple tubes that have been handmade by wrapping many layers of composite material over each other. This technique gives great strength, rigidity and keeps the weights low. We use a very high grade carbon fibre material for all the poles except the 5 metre which is made from fibreglass. Whilst the poles are generally used horizontally on the water, the massive strength and rigidity design and build allows you to use the poles vertically and even extend outwards without the support of water. Holding the sections together and controlling the extension we have the clamping system. These are made from glass reinforced nylon with solid aluminium thumb levers. 
They are capable of withstanding extremes of temperature from as low as minus 30 to above 40 degrees centigrade without any compromise. The holding capability or grab of each clamp has been independently tested to hold a hanging 28 kilogram weight, easily enough to pull several men through the water if necessary. The clamps have an adjustable sprung cam. This means that as the tubes start to wear down, you can hand adjust the clamps to maintain the hold. They hold and loosen like this. The base sections on all the poles are made from fiberglass to provide protection against electrocution should the pole touch a power line. These poles have the same metal top collar. This has a steel push button mechanism that fits all the tools. So once you have a pole, you can add or change any tool quickly and easily. Finally, but most importantly, all the poles have the internal safety line fed from a modified throw bag. This line passes up the length of the pole as it extends and collapse. It is attached to the top collar so in the event of a pole breakage, the line will still be able to retrieve the casualty safely. We have over 20 tools that are attached to the pole ends and we'll briefly go over these now. The flotation ball this is an essential attachment which must be added to all of the poles. It keeps the pole buoyant above the water, takes the weight of the pole helping you move it around the water easily and also keeps the tool on the end above the surface of the water allowing you to engage with the casualty swiftly and accurately. The flotation collar. This is used for conscious casualties in the water. Once attached, push the pole to the casualty and the casualty can secure the adjustable flotation collar to themselves. The crook, a simple shepherd's crook to easily hook onto the victim or retrieval of objects. The grappler, this is used for body retrieval or also to remove debris from a flood scene or a river bank. The body hook, this is the best body object tool. One step up from the crook, the ends are curved in a way for no damage and it can wrap around the victim to secure them. The pro snare, this is a spring loaded device. The loop is placed over the target and a light tug to the pole will release the snare locking onto the target. This will never over tighten as it's designed to release once the pole is pushed forward slightly. This is ideal for animal control and unconscious human retrieval. Carrigo. We have two sizes of the Carrigo, small and large, depending on which pole it is to be used for. This is a quick release tool to secure a line at distance. The line hook. This is used for attaching a line to a fixed point at height or across water, for example, onto a submerged vehicle. The remote centre punch, designed to smash a vehicle window that has been submerged in water. This is used in conjunction with the line hook attachment. The rope blade. This is used where a rope needs to be severed. It can also be used to cut other materials, for example a harness, strapping fishing wire and netting, to name a few. The boat hook. The boat hook is designed as a docking aid to manoeuvre boats or retrieve objects dropped in the water from a boat. The camera attachment, to be used for searching underwater in depths of up to 20 metres. The kit bag, for storing the attachments, it's designed in high-vis colour and material that drains and dries easily after being wet. The window smasher, the window smasher was designed to break windows at height to provide ventilation to a room before the rescue team enter the building. The flashlight is activated automatically when it hits water. This can be used with the throw bag and also the flotation collar. 
The GoPro attachment can be used to give you that extra reach with your GoPro. The rescue net is used for retrieving small items from the water and in some cases even some small animals from trees or from ice or from water situations. We also manufacture a range of other equipment such as the wading pole and our own designed throw bag. The wading pole. This is a depth and stability aid when wading through waters. It's made from fiberglass, weighs one kilogram and is 1.8 meters long. The Reach and Rescue throw bag has been designed with a larger diameter opening for ease and speed of repacking, a foam material weight at the bottom of the throw bag to assist in the smooth gliding action while throwing, a mesh material for fast drainage providing consistent throwing weight, ventilation to assist a speedy rope process. The throw bag has a large capacity and can hold a rope from 15 metres to 30 metres. And because of the experience we have in this industry, we've put together specialist selections of equipment and provided kits for different types of industries. Have a look at these, you can see them on our website. So now we're going to show you how to use the poles and attachments. Firstly, take a moment to assess the risk and choose a suitable tool. Here we have a man unconscious distance approximately 10 meters. Number one, prepare the pole by first fitting the float ball to maintain pole support. Attach the body hook. Open top clamp, extend onto the water and lock out the clamp. Repeat with the lower clamps until the casualty is reached. Twist the pole and hook to engage. Steadily reverse the procedure of the clamp. Steadily pull the pole back. You can simply walk back with the pole or close the pole down one clamp at a time. All of our equipment has been designed to be easily maintained. You'll find these detailed videos on our website. For your peace of mind, the Reach and Rescue range of equipment has been rigorously tested. All of our equipment is built to the highest quality. We're a UK manufacturer and because of that we've got the confidence to give you a lifetime guarantee on all of the products. Now that guarantee not only covers you for accidental breakage, it gives you cover for defective workmanship and also for premature wear and tear. That's an amazing guarantee that we stand by. Thanks for your time today and to finish have a look at what our customers think of us, our products and our service. My name is John Masco and I'm Director of Operations for the Armadillo Hovercraft Rescue and Response Support Unit uh, based out of Budapest, Hungary. Uh, we uh, provide specialized support uh, and response to agencies all across Central Europe concentrating on, uh, on Hungary. And we've been outfitted with uh, gear from uh, Reach, uh, from Reach and Rescue, which we've been using uh, for an, uh, for a while now, and uh, have been involved in several uh, activities where we've actually used the Reach and Rescue to its full, full potential. Uh, most recently, uh, we were able to use the Reach and Rescue uh, the Danube floods, uh, which uh, swept through Hungary, and uh, with a lot of success. Um, we provided a full, uh, full service with the product, um, primarily in saving lives, but also in uh, providing uh, response work and uh, reconnaissance work, for which we, like the, uh, the waiting poles uh, as well, helped us a great deal, and I'm sure that uh, the use of Reach and Rescue will save lives. Hi, I'm Jen Edwards, um, I'm part of the Open Valley Matter Rescue Team. Um, we use Reach and Rescue's uh, water search for poles as part of our rescue team. Um, they're brilliant, they're a simple concept but they're really effective. We've got a nice T grip at the top to, uh, to make it easier for you to hold the pole. Obviously a nice yellow colour, it's visible, you can see your other team members when they're in the water using them. 
Also, they've got a nice metal embossed bottom, which means that it's hard wearing. The bottom's not going to crack compared to some other carbon poles you can use. Um, just really useful, dead handy, happy with them, great investment. I'll show you today the uh, Reach Rescue uh, pole. Uh, this is a 5 meter pole and uh, made from carbon fibre, obviously telescopic with uh, lots of uh, uses. Uh, as you can see, this has uh, got a graphic book on it and um, many, many different attachments that are going to be put onto the end of it. Very different very, uh, applications and uses. Uh, recommended highly from uh, the same team. We've been operating now for four years. Uh, we've actually used these for quite a few times, not only in training but in times of real rescues. Uh, one of the advantages this does is actually keeps the, uh, the user more safe so you can do back time. Reach and rescue pole, uh, the waiting pole for fetching some of the debris out of this canal down here. And uh, I found it to be really effective. I, I realized that it's uh, very simple to manipulate with this tool, especially when this ball is on the water, it's very easy to move it and go forward with the victim. Thank you. Nice Thank you. A couple of waiting poles off Jersey, the emergency service show. Uh, last year and then pretty much within a couple of weeks we were using them uh, to flood some cannon bottoms here in Derbyshire. Uh, uh, nice and long 